Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to our channel. If it's the first time you're here, I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, so, today on the video, on the schedule, we have a pole vault meet. Um, so, if you watched the last vlog, it's Thursday now, and this is the vault meet that I was talking about. Um, so, I'm currently driving there now. It's about 1040, 1040. And um, yeah, it's like two hours away um, from our house. So I should get there around uh, 1230. And then the start time is like 1.30ish. It's not like concrete. Um, so it's actually in uh, like a retired Walter's backyard. He has a pole vault pit there. Um, he has like 100, and, I think 15 or 113 uh, feet of runway too. So that's like exactly what I need. Well, it's a little bit short, but um, it's close enough. Um, so I'll be able to go from full. Um, so yeah, just hoping for some good wins. My body's been feeling good. Practice yesterday went really well. Um, had just a couple high jumps and then an all out 200, all out 150, all out 150 with like full recovery, so like 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just going to continue to drive. I'll talk to you guys once I get there if I have time. And then yeah, so the goal for today is to jump 5 meters. Like that's like my silver medal performance. Um, my bronze medal performance is to jump 480, which is like, I don't want bronze. And then I'd say like my gold medal performance is a PB, so like 505 or higher, 510. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, just going to try to like bring some intensity into it and just like stay hydrated in the car and stuff. And yeah, so... Here we go, let's get the video started. I'll talk to you guys when I'm there. Okay, um, made it, finally. It was like 20 minutes late, or 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty sweet setup. So yeah, just gonna start like warming up and then I'll set the camera up for when I start to do some drills and stuff. So, should be good.
Okay, and that is the that is the end of the meet. Yeah, not the end of the vlog. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm watching stuff about cheese. I am at the hotel now. Um, obviously, finished up the meet. Um, so it went pretty well. Um, so it's always different to compete in like a backyard or like in like a raised runway like in a street meet or something like that um, just because like you don't have the same visuals as you usually do at like a track meet my run just felt a little bit weird so um, Jeff the guy that put on the meet um, has like a great like backyard um, so it couldn't complain at all um, the my approach is 120 feet um, like from when I like start like walking in um, and the runway is a hundred and like 20 feet exactly so I couldn't like do my regular like rock back so that was kind of like messing me up I think at the start um, the start of my run because I was on my smallest pole and I wasn't like getting flung deep into the pit um, so I had my depth in like at, like 60 which I usually don't do. Um, so it's just, uh, once I got it figured out, I could vault fine. Um, but it was just kind of like messing me up a little bit. Um, and I haven't vaulted from full approach in about a month. So it was just like a pretty good meet. 490 and one good attempt at 505. So I think at like a competition at a track, and with other vaulters that are vaulting a little bit higher, um, I think I could pump out like a 510, um, depending on how I'm feeling. So I'm competing tomorrow in Toronto. So that's why I'm staying in a hotel um, in hurdles and discus. So I'm gonna combine all those together. Um, so tomorrow at like three-ish I compete. So I'm just gonna chill out all night. Um, probably roll out a little bit make sure I drink a lot of water um, and then yeah hurdles tomorrow wake up as a hurdler oh no discus wake up as a discus thrower um, so yeah I will see you guys tomorrow and thanks for watching pole vault and on to more things so here we go morning everybody um, so if you wanted to know what continental breakfast look like in hotels nowadays because of COVID this is it so this is probably one of the best ones that um, I've had offered to me um, usually well there's one hotel that we stayed at in um, San Diego that they had people behind like where you'd get your hot breakfast and then they would just serve you and it worked out like really well you didn't have to wait that long um, but everywhere else just gives you like these boxes um, but this one actually has an English muffin I had to warm it up because it was like dead ass cold but um, this is probably the best one there's a muffin yogurt in a juice box and then there's coffee in the room so yeah, um, I'm feeling pretty good today, slept okay, and um, it is raining out, and I think it's supposed to sprinkle the whole day, so we'll see how that goes with discus today at uh, 3.15, um, but hurdles should be fine, because um, it won't be like too cold out, um, but yeah. So I'm going to eat this, and then I will see you probably in the car when I have to check out. Then I'll grab some lunch or something. Just hang out. So yeah. Okay, we're here now. Um, have about 25 minutes before we start. So I'm just going to do a general quick little warm-up and then uh, get into it. I think the circle will be open pretty soon. So um, yeah, feeling pretty good. The rain stopped, so that's great. Um, so yeah, I'm running a little bit behind, so I'm going to get going and then I'll set up the camera somewhere that 
you can see. Hurdles. This is a preliminary. We'll have a final coming up later on. Keep an eye on lane two, Craig Thorne and a false start. Okay, and that ends that competition. Um, this is way in the future for me, um, but I didn't do an outro again. Um, so, yeah, 44-61, not a bad throw. I missed, the camera died on my last throw last throw was oh sorry 4461 my last throw was 4461 the one that you saw was 4406 um so yeah it's a not a not a bad day um and with hurdles you obviously just saw that i false started um i just really wanted to like compete so i just like wanted to go like all out obviously i was a little like too high so I like couldn't get like into my rhythm and I was just a little bit too hyped up uh, but it's fine it happens um, in the decathlon you actually get two false starts um, so I'm still want to be like that aggressive um, going into nationals but obviously if there's a fault or not a fault a false start then like I'm just gonna wait for the gun but yeah it happens um, so Successful meets, um, good little tune-up for nationals, which I'm at right now. Um, good tune-up for this meet coming up. So, um, yeah. Uh, so other than that, thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you made it, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Hope you guys have a good day. And uh, the next video that you're gonna see is nationals right now that we filmed kind of today and tomorrow and the next day. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And other than that, have a good one.